Hello. So I'm just gonna do another commentary video, just for fun. So when I when I started fighting this guy, um, I obviously don't know the fucking matchup. Like, <laughs> I I tried my best because I've only fought like I want to say two or three other um, what's his name, Ski. I've only fought like like a few of those, so I want to say three. So he's like, I guess the fourth, the third or the fourth. And while we were fighting, I literally did my best to adapt and to pay attention to what he likes to do. Like this character is a total piece of trash, and in my opinion, I feel like he carries the player because, for one, um, he's just cheesy as fuck. Like you, you have your meter, you have. Um, maybe I just don't understand the character, so if anybody like that watches me that plays these, maybe you could tell me I'm wrong, but from what I see, he just has to hit you with one with one move and the rest of the hits are free. Like, I can't even block after that, you know? And to me that's fucking cheesy, it's stupid. Like, it's so hard for the, the opponent to just breathe. And one thing that I noticed about this guy, <clears throat> is and trust me i'm not trying to say like i'm better than him or anything like that because you know just because i am i'm practicing my sidestep game and like you know trying to use like movement and stuff because i i have no backdash like my shit's trash but that's something that i want to learn eventually like i'm putting that on the back burner for now but seeing him i i noticed that he is very linear he doesn't sidestep and he doesn't know how to backdash either but he doesn't even try to like do like the side step back, side step back, because that's like the ghetto. Um, <laughs> that's the ghetto back dash. That's what I do, because I don't I don't know how to back dash. But I do try to side step and stuff, and he never did that. He, I think he's just used to his character just applying so much pressure that he doesn't realize that he is at a point where he needs to try to learn that stuff. And I try to tell him that in a message, like on YouTube, on his channel. But uh, he got offended. And he said that uh, Geese is super unsafe. And I was like, well, Anna's really unsafe. Like, she's like one of the most unsafe characters in the game. And she risks like a, a lot more than a lot of characters. Because she has no range, she has no good punishment. She, you know, all this, all this stuff. Like, everybody knows. All the girls know. All the girls. We know. <laughs> So, when this guy told me that, I was like, I have to laugh, you know, because this character is a fucking faggot and he's just all over the place. Like, he gets away with so much. I mean, because we don't know the matchup, and I know people don't know the Anna matchup, like I've always said, but, but I mean, look, and he loves doing fucking spring kicks, and that's one thing I, I picked up on in our first match. So bitch, I baited them hoes out. And it was weird because, like I mentioned in my Lily video, you know, I expect people to adapt and to stop doing what they're doing when they get punished for it. And that's not the case. Like, this guy doesn't stop doing it. Like, you'll see him get punished for spring kicking in my face and I bait it out. And he just does it anyway. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, it's crazy to me. I guess conditioning doesn't always work on some people. Some people are just like retarded or something. And maybe I'm retarded too because sometimes I don't. But when it comes to certain things like basic shit like spring kicking, I feel like that's, a, that's such a simple mistake that you can make and you can fix it, you know? It's not like, oh, what string is he doing that I need to look out for because that string has a move in it that I've been getting caught with. To me, that's a little bit more tricky because sometimes moves can look the same and you might make the wrong read. But he tried to tell me that I wasn't making reads and that's why he was winning, quote unquote, more than me. Bitch, you didn't win uh, more than me. We went even. That's why this video is going to be called Breaking Even with Dumbass Bitches because he's one of them. <clears throat> he definitely didn't have the, the one up on me. Bitch, please. He was just he was just doing stuff <laughs> uh, and he doesn't block either he doesn't 
He doesn't have patience. And look, I don't have patience either. I'm just giving the reads on him. But he can't tell me I wasn't reading, because I was. Bitch, I was reading the house on him. Bitch, I called your spring kicks. Um, I blocked your lows. I was sidestepping you. I was I was doing a lot of stuff, so you can't tell me. And I was parrying his lows too with CJM, and that's a hard read. So you can't tell me I didn't have the read, honey, because I did. As for him, no. He just, he's just doing shit. <clears throat> and I hate this character. Like he's, he's one character that I honestly don't give a fuck about. Like I won't care to learn the matchup. Like if I fight him, when I fight him, I fight him, you know? But he's not really a character that I care to learn the matchup on because he's not gonna be in Tekken 8. And two, nobody fucking plays him. And the people that do play him are like, so in the fucking background that nobody gives a fuck, you know? Like, we'll let them have their moment and we'll let them think they're good for for this season, sweetie. But you're definitely not good. And everybody is going to Akuma now, apparently, I guess. I guess he's better. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, what was I saying? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm the baddest bitch in the game. That's what I was saying. But yes, he's, um, he was trying to tell me that Anna isn't unsafe and that she's just like her sister, uh, Nina. You know, that she just gets to do loop moves and like keep doing strings, but that's not true. Like, it's so crazy that people think that because Nina can keep applying crazy insane amounts of pressure with her can opener, loop cancels, uh, sights up one cancels. She has a lot of different shit that she can do. And she has a lot of extensions from strings that Anna has that Anna doesn't get to extend to. Anna just gets to do like, I guess a few, few moves out of those strings, but she doesn't get to go into the moves that Nina gets to. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I guess when you're a dumb blonde, you need all the help you can get. But look at that, I was reading him. Reading him to Phil. And he had a, the nerve to tell me. Bitch, please. I don't even know the matchup, and I'm over here trying to to make these reads. He didn't do none of that. He just kept up trying to apply pressure with his cheap-ass character. Like, I wish I could get a bunch of free-ass moves just for making one hit. Yeah, that's crazy to me. But I'm looking cute. <clears throat> and you know what else I noticed, too, was he would get really nervous when... Because as a geese player, you have that throw over, right? You can grab someone. I knew, I knew he was just doing it because he wanted the extra damage, but he would get so scared when he was on the opposite side. Like, he couldn't handle it. So he, I always knew he was gonna try to grab me to throw me back over to the other side because he's weak on the other side. But to me, like, I feel like my player two side is okay. Like, I'm not the best at it, but I'm not bad. Like, I'm pretty comfortable on that side. Like, I could, I could fight someone on player two side and be okay with it. And I noticed that a lot of people, like, especially some Eddie players, They'll do that, though. Um, I low-key feel like some of these hoes are playing on player two side as a strategy because it's their weak side, and then they'll go do, like, a side switch grab, and then they'll play that on that side. It's because they want to keep you on your weak side and then fuck you up like that, you know? Because if, you, if you're ever fighting somebody who does that, who always has to grab you to throw you on the opposite side, because I think every character has a grab like that where it switches sides, um, they're doing that on purpose because they want you to to get off your game, you know, because if they're afraid of you or, you know, if they're just pissy ass bitches who can't win without like stupid ass, like odd fucking tactics like that. And I'm not just saying that because I'm like, I'm salty or something, but that's literally what some people be doing. And it's crazy. Like bitches don't have no confidence in themselves. They have to pull some trash shit like that off their ass.
And oh my god, you guys, this is like off subject or whatever, but I've been having the worst time. I mean, it's on the subject of Tekken, but like, oh my god, I've been fighting a lot of Kazuya's, right? And for some reason, I like, I don't know if it's the lag or if it's just, if it's just the inputs or something that I'm not getting, but like when they do their health sweeps, I'll sidestep them, right? And I'll get right behind them and... For some reason, I'm doing like a down jab on their back, and it makes me so mad because I'm not trying to do a down jab. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do down forward three. Maybe I'm pressing one or something on accident. And it's like it's kind of tricky because when you're when you're sidestepping people, ooh, look at the reads, honey. I'm charging him. But anyway, when when you're doing a sidestep around someone to their back, it's like it's weird because the camera kind of you don't know which way the camera is going to flip because sometimes it'll flip completely on you or it'll just continue to follow you. But then it also fucks with your inputs if you're not used to it. And I'm definitely not used to it. So when I'm when I'm stepping hose, when I'm walking behind them, sometimes I'll have an input error. And it makes me so mad because I'm like, man, this could have been such a hot play. I could have had it in a compilation. Could have served the girls. That's cute. Look what I did. <laughs> I like that. I learned that from Badonkey Pong. I know a lot of other animal pl players do that sometimes, but I, I specifically learned it from him because, you know, I like watching him on, on Twitch. Also, for any of you animal players out there who want to watch like a high high level tournament animal player, um, you should go watch Badonkey Pong on Twitch and just follow him. He's super good. I don't usually like promote other people's stuff because I mean that's not my that's not my job. But I really love him and I think he's such a good player. I've done it once before where I wanted people to go follow him because that because when you when you see someone and you know that they have that like star quality like you know they're gonna be a big deal one day. That's how I feel about him. So if you want to see a really good ass and a player, he's like he got like fucking 10 accounts that are TGP because he keeps just beating up everybody but he's just so good and like we watch him on Twitch when he goes to tournaments and stuff and he just slays and he's beaten so many good ass players but yeah it's, it's a lot of fun to watch and every like it's mostly gay people and there's some straight people that are in the chats but we all just like have fun and talk shit and it's just really nice so yeah his name is the donkey song um, I honestly, I don't know how to fucking spell that, so just look it up. I mean, it's Badonk, I-E, Zonk. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I learned, I learned that strat. After you do the full couch down four two sweep and do down three four one, you dash up once and then do back four. Because sometimes people like to do, like, hop moves and back four will tail spin them, so you get your... Your little mini combo from the air. So yeah, I started. Like, look at him. He doesn't block or anything. And it's so funny when I see him because, like, I know he wants to just back up and stuff, but he's just doing, like, he's just holding back and, like, backing up really slow. <laughs> look! Like, that's what I'm talking about! That shit right there! It makes me so mad. Cause bitch, I'm serving these these steps and serving these reads, and then a bitch can't come through with the, the fucking combo. But, I guess the bright side is, and look at that! I can't even block! And you're trying to tell me this character ain't cheap. Bitch, shut the fuck up. But anyway, this uh this shit is crazy, but the good thing is is that I'm getting better. Like that's the good thing. I'm able to set people now. And honestly I never knew like how fun it was and how how strong it is. Look at that! I didn't even do the right combo. I get so nervous. I'm just trash. But like I said, you can't hate on me because I'm actually stepping people. And there's a lot of people in my ranks who do not even step or get around people from behind. Like, they just fight in linear ways, you know?
And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I think everybody learns at their own pace. But I, what I'm saying is, is I feel like I'm, I'm learning quickly, if that makes sense. Like, I have a lot to learn, obviously. But, like, when it comes to certain things like this, which I, I feel like stepping is a little bit advanced because, I mean, it, it's super hard. But whenever, uh, you know, you get comfortable with it and you know what when to step and uh, what moves to do and then step, that's a lot of fun. And I think I might make a video about that. Like, if you guys want, um, just let me know. Because I know a lot, like, a lot of people might not watch my commentary videos, but if you're watching and you want to, you want me to make a video about what moves to do um, that go into a sidestep with Anna, just let me know. Oh, but yeah, this guy, this Heihachi, he's a Kazuya player. I beat his Kazuya's ass. He doesn't like me. Um, I know there's so much drama in this fucking game and it's so unnecessary to even talk about. But I just want to give, like, context, you know, because this ass whooping is just lovely. I mean, he beat me a few times, but he had a, he had a, like, cheese me and I just cheesed him right back because I don't play that shit. Like, if you cheese me with any character, bitch, I'm gonna fucking cheese you right back. I'm gonna do the CJM down through three, or I'm gonna do my health sleep with Anna when you do your health sleep with the fucking machine, my bitch. Believe in that. But yes, when I, when I first started playing this game, he's one of the people that used to think that they were the cutest because they were bullying me. <laughs> and I don't know, it's just nice. You know, revenge is sweet, just like this pussy. Oh my god, I didn't, I did not punish him, you guys. And I honestly, I never knew this. I had to ask chat and Looney Lily's chat. But apparently, Heihachi's health sleep, if you don't block the first hit, but you block the second one, he is minus 10. So basically, you don't get to punish him. And you're in full crouch. So it's like, what the fuck? Because Anna's while rising 3, I believe, is like 11 frames. So it's it's basically fucking safe. I think. But anyway, if you manage to block the first hit like I did on the health sleep and I didn't punish, it, he's like minus 26. But if you're a dumbass like me and you do like a dick job, then you pretty much um, ruined your, your punish. <laughs> and that's what I did. <clears throat> but it, it is, it's really nice, um, cause I've run into people from the past who, uh, a lot, like, a lot, ne like, lately in season three, like, season two, it was kind of rare to run into people that, that had messaged me talking shit, called, called me trash, like, th there was one Anna player, I remember, he said I would never be better than him, and I would never, you know, like, just... Talking so much shit, because I had literally just started the game. He was like, you'll never beat me, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You're trash. Bitch, I wish I'd run into you now. Fuck you up. <laughs> uh, and that's not just me, like, me being cocky. It's because I know I'm, like, way better now than I was when I first started, obviously. You know, you gotta hype yourself up sometimes. You can't just talk yourself down. Because, like I say, I know I'm not the best, but... I'll fuck you up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I feel so bad for, like, complimenting myself. Because, obviously, I'm joking. I don't want people to think I'm, like, serious. I could never be. Maybe in, like, four years, I'll be... I'll be able to be like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good. But then I probably won't even say that, to be honest. Because I think... I think cockiness is so ugly. It's such an ugly thing. Especially in a fucking video game, like, who cares? <clears throat> but I will be happy. I will say that. Uh, when I'm when I'm stepping people and I learn, um, like, better fundamentals and I have, a, like, a stronger understanding of the game, then I'll be like, you know, I'm okay. I'm good. You know, like, I... I'm not amazing, but I'm good. I'm I'm really better at this game. Like I can I can say it, you know. But for right now, no. But look at this. I'm serving him, and it was so funny, cause we were like going back and forth, and then he starts doing a bunch of health sweeps. But I knew he was scared of me. I I fucking knew he was. 
Because when I play, when he plays me with his main um, Kazuya, he he used to be super aggressive with me, but it's like now it's a different story. And he said he was gonna block me <laughs> the last time we had fought because I messaged him talking shit. Because I slayed him. Bitch was talking shit last time. But now when I'm serving him, like, I can't message you and talk shit. And he's like, you're about to be blocked. So bitch block me. But yeah, he, was, he seemed to be very afraid to do a lot of stuff. And you should be. You should be very afraid. Because Anna's that woman. You don't want to underestimate Anna Williams, honey. I fucking hate her. I hate fighting her. And I feel like, I feel like in mirror matches, because I noticed like, there's quite a few people who watch me, who play Anna as well, who want to fight me. But I'm like, why do you want to fight me? I suck. And mirror matches are my worst. Like, especially when the other Anna loves to do snake edges or they like to do CJM down through three, like nonstop. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, when are you going to change it up? And when am I going to make the right fucking read? Because I feel like... I feel like they're gonna go for the, the hop kick out of CJM, so I'm like, okay, I'll block that. But they go for down 3T and then they'll go for a snake edge or down 3-2, like, after everything. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this isn't how I play Anna, so I'm kind of just making the wrong guesses, the wrong reads, because I'm assuming you're gonna play like me. And I shouldn't. That's, and that's what the problem is a lot of times when, like, I, I tend to expect people to be different, you know, and not be dirty. Cause when you play dirty, I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard to fight another Anna because the, the punishment's not there. So it's like, it's not about who's better. Cause bitch, you're not going to be better than any other Anna. I mean, you can be like, if you have your fundamentals and stuff like that and your like your punishment is on point with, with the punishment she has but a lot of times like even when i watch the donkey zonk and like another like a really good anna player fight in a mirror match it's never and i even tell him that and i think most of them would agree like it's not about who's better it's just about who could who can launch the other one first you know like who can get away with a with an unsafe ass launch or an unsafe ass poke so it's it's just an annoying matchup because you're you're not going to be able to um, do a lot of this stuff, you know what I mean? Like that you would normally do because you're having to look out for your own annoying shit. Because Anna is hella annoying. I know she is, but it it's just it makes up for the fact that she's lacking in so many places. And Ho's really be thinking she's a, a good ass character and that we're cheesy. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Because your character's way better and you have all that punishment, but you're just a fucking pissy ass bitch. Who don't want to use that. And it all just comes down to matchup knowledge. Look, look! That's, that's minus 10. And here I was trying to do wall raising too. I, th I said, girl, I got you now. And I sure did it. And I noticed that this guy, he loves doing down four while raising four. A lot of Heihachi's like doing that. It's fucking weird. It's just like, it's just like Kazuya's. They love doing dick jabs for some reason. It's like a thing. I don't know who the fuck started it, but they love doing dick jabs. Like after everything, like if they, if they're minus on something, they'll go into a dick jab just to regain momentum and stop you from uh, punishing. It's fucking crazy. But I feel like those Kazuya's like they're they're always like in like the higher ranks and shit. They think that's like high gameplay, like high level gameplay. That's just not fucking high level. That shit's trash. Like when I fought the Emperor uh, Kazuya, um, I was I was making reads on him. Like I, I never posted the video, but I will if you want. But I fought him, and I think we went even. But 
But you would think, so look, I'm choosing the fuck out of him. <laughs> but that's because he was healthy for me. Like, fuck you, bitch. But anyway. Um, also, I, I learned to do down four three into CJM, down three three, because if you do down, down four, count, down four one cancel into CJM, down three three, then you're, you're putting yourself more at risk because you're doing a lot of bows, and then that opens you up for more parries. So doing down four three cancel into CJM, down three three three, down three three, sorry, will keep you a little bit safer, because <clears throat> it's a mid. But anyway, um... I messaged that Kazuya and told him that like he should really stop doing dick traps and not not to sound like like a fucking asshole or anything and sound like I'm I'm good or something but he never messaged me back but um I was just giving advice I was like you shouldn't do that especially when you're you're so obvious and and you're playing against an, an Ana player you know like any any good or decent Ana player is going to use that shit against you and punish you with CJM. Because dick jabs and loads will get launched. And that's what I love about Anna. You can't you can't really do a lot of bullshit to her when it comes to like loads. Obviously the CJM read is hard as fuck to do. Cause you're you're gonna put yourself open to counter hit launchers or just launchers in general. It's just an unsafe uh, parry. It's not like Ostica or anybody, like I always say, it's 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 a hard read. And I know some people think it's cheesy, whatever, but those people are dumb. I wish it was fucking cheesy. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's weird because a lot of uh, Kazuya players love to do jig jabs. And to me, that's, that's very risky and very stupid to do. Look, and this guy likes doing rage art. It's like, come on. Like, get yourself together, sweetie. If you gotta start using rage arts, you're a fucking faggot. Like, I will use a rage art here and there, especially when I'm fighting against my friend. Um, <laughs> but he always punishes me for it. I'm talking about my friend Drunk. Don't Drunk, I'm Shoot. I always try it and I get fucking destroyed for it. But it's gonna be so good. And I just can't ever get in sometimes, especially when he uses a Fina. I fucking hate that character so much. Fuck Safina. And I also heard that her her backdash is super easy. Like, just playing her is easy. Okay. <laughs> that was cute. I definitely made the read because he was always doing a like after certain moves. Like if I did down three down four three two ass, he would get up and do like a low kick. So I definitely had the read. and the back can to finish him off. I just love that move. You know, it's like the ultimate disrespect to me. Like, I love it. Cause you know when people want to key charge, but I'm like a low key shade bitch. Like if I want to shade you, I'm just going to backhand you after you die or I'll stomp you. I mean, the stop's cute, but the back can is just the cutest. I win. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about absolutely nothing again. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.